President Obama made his case over military involvement against ISIL or the Islamic State. But what does that mean for us here in Texas? Joining me this morning for reaction to President Obama's speech and more is Austin Democratic Congressman Lloyd Doggett. Good morning to you. Thank you. So what do you think about the president's response so far to ISIS? I think his response is strong. I believe he's already empowered when Americans are murdered in the brutal way that has occurred here to respond and to respond. What we need to avoid, however, is another long-term ground war in Iraq and Syria, something that did not make our families safer before, cost us perhaps a trillion dollars, and cost the lives of so many brave young Americans. Uh, so my evaluation of this is not just a simple yes or no. It is trying to be sure that in doing the right thing immediately, we don't get bogged down in a land war. I'm concerned also that there are countries in the region that are more directly affected than we are, and they seem to be saying, you fight our enemies, and we'll be glad to uh, do a photo op with you. They need to be actively engaged so that Americans are not doing all the paying and all the dying again. Mm -hmm. Something you'll continue to follow closely. Yes, we could be voting on this as early as Tuesday or Wednesday, so I have more briefings tomorrow in Washington, the next day, trying to meet with military officials, intelligence officials, to be sure that what the president says is really what we ultimately will get. It's very complex. He has a difficult decision, but so do we. They talk about whether this is a war or not. To the families that have to sacrifice, it is a war, and the Congress needs to have a say and debate it thoroughly. Got it. Let's